All right, welcome back, family. Let's go around. We're checking out Lizzo. She's involved in a scandal that most of us wouldn't imagine that she'd be involved in. She has been sued. There's a lawsuit against her by three of her former dancers who are coming forward saying Lizzo has allegedly fat shamed them and has made them perform sexual acts against their will and her dance captain and her production company are responsible for a number of practices against these women and now have filed a lawsuit. Now, if the irony of this doesn't make you laugh, you, you really have to consider who Lizzo is. This is a big girl who embraces her physicality and promotes women to love themselves as they are, body positivity I believe they call it, which suggests that women should love themselves no matter what form they're physically in, which is not a bad idea and I support it. The only thing is that for those women who are morbidly obese, there's some health consequences with that. Someone who looks like this, advocating for women to be fine in their skin is fine, but for you not to do any changes about this and to just accept yourself for who you are and not make any progress in trying to lose weight, that's a dangerous message. Now, if you look at her performance in every single stage that I've seen, she's the biggest girl there. I guess she doesn't want to be upstaged, but one of the girls, Miss Davis, who came back from a little off time, but she came back noticeably bigger, she was approached and addressed to what is going on with you? Why are you this big? Miss Davis also admits that she has an eating disorder and with the off time, she was eating as much as she usually does, but without the physical activities of performing all the time, she gained weight. And she claims that uh, this was a problem for Lizzo and her team. Now look, truth be told, I could kind of understand how these women might have felt pressure or how Lizzo might have taken advantage of her position because she's hiring these plus size women to become background dancers for her, knowing that if she fires them, there's not too many artists that are gonna be lining up to hire them. One thing that we gotta keep in mind is that these are allegations. Nothing has been proven thus far. And I don't like the idea that a mere allegation could come out and your career suffers for it. We've seen this numerous times and I, I don't agree with it. Although I might agree that there might be some abuse going on from one person because of their level of power as it relates to their subordinates. This lawsuit from three of the backup dancers were brought forward and since then six more has come forward to say, you know what, there was some abuse going on and, and uh, we want to sue as well. This reminds me of the Me Too movement, which I wasn't really a fan of. Women from 30 years ago coming forward saying, this man did this. It might have been true, but too much time has passed and there's no way to prove your story and you coming forward with a story automatically destroy the person you are alleging have done this to you. That's not fair in my opinion. But let's take a look at the report for this Lizzo thing. For most, Lizzo is the symbol of body positivity making so many feel special. But now the multi Grammy award winner is being sued for just the opposite. In a new lawsuit, three of Lizzo's former backup dancers accused the singer, her dance captain, and production company of weight shaming, creating a hostile work environment through sexual, religious, and racial harassment, as well as assault and false imprisonment. Girls that look like me don't get representation. Time to pull up my sleeves and find them myself. Lizzo recruited Crystal Williams and Ariana Davis from her 2022 Amazon Prime show, Watch Out for the Big Girls, and Noelle Rodriguez appeared in the music video for Juice. It started off so great. We already had a preconceived like love for her because um, of everything that she stands for. The lady shared details of some of the allegations in the lawsuit, including weight shaming. They would always ask, like, you seem different. Like, what's wrong? Like, my demeanor was the same. My energy was the same. My dance ability was the same. It was the first time I had showed up noticeably having gained weight. And she said that she was worried about me. 
I can only contribute that to my to my weight gain. I know it's alarming to hear that Lizzo, a plus size woman who who preaches body positivity, um, would be fat phobic essentially. Um, but I want to um, challenge people to understand that you know hurt people hurt people. Davis alleges Lizzo pressured her into touching a nude performer at a sex show in Amsterdam. She started a chant after I had said no multiple times. Um, she was like, Ari, Ari. And then everyone kind of joined in, Ari, Ari. I briefly touched the performer and withdrew my hands and you know, everyone kind of burst into laughter because me of all people, they thought it was funny that I was touching this performer. Now, part of this lawsuit was in regards to sexual assault and sexual misconduct. They alleged that Lizzo took the dance crew to a sexual banana bar thing in Amsterdam where women were inserting bananas into their privates and the patrons were invited to eat these bananas from you know where. If this happened, yeah, this is an abuse of power it's sexual misconduct. And how do you know that these women were gay? If you're eating a banana out of another woman's private, that makes you gay. I don't care how fun you think it is. No, it's gay. Again, this is all alleged. But there's a video that surfaced showing Lizzo having a certain propensity for such acts. But I'm trying to go to the show where you eat the banana out the <laughs> Which one is that? This is a banana bar. Well, that's the banana bar? Yeah, you're And then you have the banana, the banana in the coochie? In yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and ping pong bowls. And you have to go. And... Yes. And that's what to, I want to do. Then you have to eat it. I need my potassium, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Were these demands or suggestions made by Lizzo, as you say, um, were they direct where they said, "We, I really want you to do it? Or was it more, I'm afraid if I don't, I might get fired? Yeah, um, I think for uh, for both of us, there was like this always looming um, feeling of thinking that if you didn't do something or you didn't adhere to certain uh, suggestions or demands that your job could be in jeopardy. And so we had in our minds that if we weren't, you know, down for anything, that we would then be ostracized later. Not much to be said about that. But unfortunately for Lizzo, she also tweeted at some point that her and her team were out in Amsterdam eating bananas. It's okay if that's what you're into, but if you're dragging your team into this, not knowing if they're gay or not, chanting for them to eat things out of a woman's private part, then you're guilty of sexual misconduct or harassment. I don't know what else to say. Now I gotta remind you, at this point, everything is alleged. Nothing has been proven, it's just allegations from people who were fired from her team. So there might be a level of bitterness where they want to get some get back and are making these things up. But judging from the evidence and Lizzo's own statements, it's going to be challenging and she will have to pay a consequence, in my opinion. But let's be fair and hear what her response is and what her lawyers had to say. In a new statement posted to her Instagram, Lizzo called the allegations false and outrageous, saying in part, these sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional, adding, I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. In a statement to ABC News, attorney Marty Singer writing in part, the lawsuit filed by the three dancers against Lizzo and the other defendants is specious and without merit. He also provided video to ABC News, which appears to show plaintiff Ariana Davis filmed in April after the time these events allegedly occurred praising her former employer. I look up to her so much and I just want to follow in her footsteps and I just want to share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Well, I always say, where there's smoke, that's fire. Are these women telling the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth? Probably not. They have to sensationalize these stories in order for their lawsuit to move forward and have some financial gains from this. But there might be a level of truth to what they're saying. If it, 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 and some of it 
might be provable, especially the banana case thing. Now, can they prove that there was fat shaming going on? I doubt it. Can they prove that Lizzo herself and her team was adamant about these big girls staying smaller than Lizzo? I doubt it, but it's gonna be interesting how this thing unfolds because Lizzo, the body positivity spokesperson, has been accused of such a heinous act as to fat shame her workers. Mm. <laughs> this one is very interesting and it could also be one of these Hollywood rituals where a top level artist gets dragged in order to be part of some humiliation rituals. I don't know, I'm just suggesting some things because how humiliating is it for the spokesperson for big girls and enjoying who you are, not being ashamed to then turn around and fat shame her co-workers. Hollywood humiliation rituals seem to be fitting for this situation. But again, these are just speculations. So you tell me what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment as always and I'll be sure to answer. And thank you for checking me out one more time. Catch you in the next one.